I just stepped out of my comfort zone for y'all. Y'all better appreciate this. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. We have an update here on the Five Nights of Freddy's movie being worked on at Blumhouse Studios. And it's actually a really reassuring update on the franchise because the source is as good as it gets because it's from me. Well, you don't believe me? You think I lied to you? You think I wouldn't have an update on Five Nights of Freddy's and I just clickbait y'all? <laughs> I got video evidence, y'all. But I'm gonna need your guys' opinions down below on what you think of this Five Nights at Freddy's update. Does what Jason Blum has to say really reassure you? Because even myself, I was starting to think things were really stalling down. Maybe things were delayed, or heck, this film might not be happening anymore. And also leave a like, because I had to simp pretty hard to get this information, so please. All right, so enough of me babbling and acting like a doofus. So if you didn't know, over at the YouTube channel at fandom.com was having an Ask Me Anything hosted by Jason Blum himself, where anybody can get on and ask him questions. And for those of you who don't know, Jason Blum is the head of Blumhouse Studios. He is the one who brings us a lot of the horror movies we get to see from Paranormal Activity to the new Halloween movies. And he is in charge of the up and coming Five Nights of Freddy's movie with Blumhouse. As soon as I saw this was a thing, I I knew I had to get my video equipment ready and try to get my chance to ask Jason Blum himself what is going on with this movie and well I'm just gonna roll the clip thanks for joining us thank you for having me uh, I just want to say thanks for everything Chris, you Chris <laughs> stop right there look at that frame <laughs> there's a lot of cool stuff thank there you, buddy I, ho I hope you have one of my guys on there yes yeah, so I was about there? to say I have I have you as a Funko Pop actually Jason okay good okay good good <laughs> yeah, good, but good that one's in the bedroom I did I my, I did my so so I have a, I have a, I have a young daughter and I said look daddy's a little doll daddy's a Funko Pop I gave her the Funko Pop she said, she asked, she's five years old. She asked to see the store and she said, he said, I want that one instead. I don't know who it was, but I ordered another one. He's standing on a piano. She was not into her daddy as a Funko Pop. It's on um, the floor of the car. Oh man. I'm sorry about that. Jason. Well, I love your thank Funko you. Pop. I hope I can oh, get sign it one day. But, I'm going to tell uh, my daughter that you said that. <laughs> uh, Jason, I just wanted to ask you, uh, obviously your studio has a lot of uh, horror movies up and coming. The one I search on the daily for news about is, uh, the Five Nights of Freddy's movie. I was just wondering if you could give any little tidbit or information, man, because I, I, I'm begging for crumbs here. Um, well, it's it's uh, we have been working on it a long time, but it's it's I, I and I, I you know I'm not telling you anything that I haven't said to a I certain degree before, but I am. Um, it's super uh, active, so I really awesome. feel like we have a very good shot at getting to see a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. I feel like, it, you know, it's, it's really moving forward. It's not stalled or anything else. It might seem that way because we haven't done any announcements about it, but it's not stalled. It's moving rapidly forward. And, um, and uh, you know, I don't want to put a timeline on it, but but soon soon no. soon we'll get it. Soon we'll get a no. movie. I really feel confident about You've that. You've said enough. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate All that. All right. Thank you. I love your I love your desk. I love your whole frame. It's, it's awesome. It's so cool. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much, Chris. Of course, if I'm speaking to Jason Blum, I got to make it about Funko Pops. That's my life. And that's what I mean right there from it sounding really reassuring that this Five Nights at Freddy's movie seems to kind of now be a priority for Blumhouse. I talk about this a lot on my channel, especially since we have a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's knockoffs going on about. We have the Banana Splits movie that happened and cheesy fun on the sci-fi channel quality movie. We have something that might actually outbeat it and be better than just a knockoff. The Wally's Wonderland movie with Nicolas Cage where he's a janitor at an amusement park who's going to be fighting animatronic puppets that come to life this five nights of freddy's movie is falling behind and i was thinking to myself are they even gonna make it i mean i'm not the only one who was nervous about it not happening anymore screen rant went ahead and made an article claiming that it's been canceled just because we haven't heard anything from it but jason blum right there made it very clear that it seems that it's moving forward a lot faster than before because this project has been announced and has been in the works for about four or five years heck he even mentions it himself that it's been a long time but it seems like things are finally moving forward i mean the other evidence I have to back it up and that's just me speculating based on the tone from Jason Blum but he takes a big pause during his answer like he's about to give us the year it'll come out but he thinks to himself no I, I can't say that information right now he looks really close to giving us a date but instead he just says pretty soon we know last we heard from the creator of Scott he says that they have a script down a story that they like so it looks like all the pre-work is done and now it's just a matter of casting and getting the locations but you put on top of that the pandemic and how the world and movie studios have to accommodate social distancing into making a movie
movie. Heck, there's even articles that future Naughty Naughty scenes will be fully CGI. <laughs> Thank goodness we don't have to worry about no Freddy Bear CGI scenes like that in Five Nights at Freddy's. You know what I'm saying? I was a really big firm believer that we were not going to get this movie anywhere near the year 2023. I thought that would be the earliest we would probably see this movie, but actually after having Jason Blum himself say that it's moving rapidly forward, that there's a lot going on with it and it's going quickly, it makes me think, heck, we could see this thing in the next two years, maybe in a year and a half. The fact that he also emphasizes that the project is installed or put on the shelf, meaning that the studio's like, ah, we'll get to it when we get to it, gives me high hopes that this is one of the next big projects he definitely wants to work on, because this could be huge, man. There's a huge audience. Just look at the amount of people that are wanting to see this video. I can only imagine how many people will be going out to see this film. But there's just still so much information I want to know about this movie. Like, the biggest question I have to ask myself, is this thing going to be PG-13? Is it going to be rated R? In my mind, I really thought that this film could be rated R because it could be graphic, it could be gory, it's a horror film, that's what I would want. But I got to remind myself, a lot of the fan base for this movie are kids under the age of 13, and that's a huge chunk of people that they will just be shutting out of the movie theater if they make it rated R. Unfortunately, this might be one of the cases where Blumhouse makes the movie PG-13. Now, that doesn't really mean the movie will suck or be bad. There's plenty of great horror movies that are PG-13, but this was one of those movies I was hoping to see a little bit of violence in i want to know from you guys watching out there how do you feel about the comments jason blum made about the five nights of freddy's movie does it excite you does it put you in a good mood it sounds to me like things are actually it sounds to me like things it sounds to me like things are finally moving forward and we will actually see this movie instead of just talking about it for another four years be sure you guys hit that like button subscribe for more movie related content don't forget to follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. But as always, my name is Chris. Take care.